What's going on? My name is Brandon Epstein. This channel is The Bee Mindset. And if you're familiar with the channel at all, for the most part, I make guided meditations. And you can check those out on the channel. I have a big playlist with tons of meditations. But today, I wanna to talk about the voice that's going on inside of your head. Self-talk. Why is this important? Well, I don't know if you know this, but your thoughts are constantly creating your reality. So all the physical things you have in your world, the possessions, the relationships, the money, whatever it is, your physical health, all that stuff is in part being created by the thoughts you have. So today we're gonna to go over the best ways to program your mind for positive self-talk. So to start off, let's just acknowledge the fact that there is another voice in your head. Okay, so stop. What did the voice in your head just say? Maybe it says something like, um, what's going on? Is this guy gonna teach me something? Or I'm really hungry, or I shouldn't have done that thing earlier, or whatever it is, right? But there's always this chatter going on in your head. So let's just acknowledge that. And let's ask ourselves a question. Well, what's it like to be you right now? So ask yourself the question, what's it like to be me right now? And then just listen. So what was your experience? What did that voice in your head say? And this isn't someone else in your head talking. This is you, but it's the unconscious version of you. And usually the unconscious version of you is just bringing things to the surface that you're not dealing with on a conscious level. So whatever it was, positive or negative, let's just understand that you don't have to have negative thoughts in your head all the time. And if you want more positive thoughts, well, it's gonna be an intentional action. We can actually program your mind to have more positive thoughts because I don't know if you've experienced this in your life, but when you have negative thoughts, oftentimes it leads to negative actions or inaction and a negative consequence in your life. And the same thing goes for positive thoughts. When you think more positively, you're in a, a better state of mind and oftentimes you end up taking more positive action and then good things happen in your life. So what I'm gonna explain to you next is a little exercise that you can do over the next few days. They're gonna help you start to shut off the negative voice and bring that positive voice out a lot more. On day one, the only thing I want you to do is write down all the negative thoughts that pop into your head throughout the day. So open a notes page or really you could put it wherever you want. But when a negative thought comes up and you doubt yourself or you start talking negatively to yourself or just something you don't want in your head, write it down. And throughout the day tomorrow, you're going to gain this greater self-awareness of how positive or how negative that dialogue in your head is. But only write down the negative stuff and then I'll tell you what to do on day two. Okay, so now day two, you're gonna to start to write down all of your positive thoughts. And again, same thing goes for the negative thoughts and the positive thoughts. Don't try to force anything. Don't try to be anything you're not already, okay? Instead, just document. Just document the thoughts that you have when you say to yourself, oh, you know, the sky, the sunset looks really pretty tonight. Just write that down or anything positive that goes into your head, write it down your notes page. And by the end of day two, you should have a list. One list, all the negative thoughts. Second list, all the positive thoughts. And then right there, you're gonna have something to work with for day three. So now on day three, we're gonna take three steps to complete this process. So step number one is just going over your two days of notes about your positive thoughts and your negative thoughts. This is gonna give you the self-awareness to really understand the experience you're programming for your life. If you have negative thoughts all the time, you're probably gonna end up living a pretty negative, unhappy life. So just get that self-awareness, that's step one. Now step two, let's actually start to do something about it. Going forward, when you start to have a negative thought and beat yourself up, don't ignore it. Because if you have a thought to yourself, oh, I really need to start losing some weight or I should exercise more. Well, maybe you should. So observe it for what it is. If you can't control it, let it go. But if there is something you can do about it and that negative voice is coming in for a reason, it's actually gonna serve you. So use that voice and take a note and write down what is one specific action I can take to make my situation better. Because sometimes that voice is just there to beat you up and sometimes 
It's there to give you a little bit of a reality check. So step number three, we're gonna start to program our unconscious mind by giving ourselves some conscious encouragement. This is some Tony Robbins stuff right here. So all you're gonna do is write down 10 incantations or 10 I am statements that make you feel good, that make you feel positive, that uplift you. And every morning, you're gonna say them out loud with tons of emotion. So it could be, I am healthy, I am wise, I am loving, I am present. Whatever you want for your life, you're gonna program your unconscious by saying these things consciously out loud. And really, if you want, you can say them throughout your whole day, but at least make sure you start your day, you hop out of bed, and you say these 10 incantations to get your self-talk off on the right foot. Please, I implore you, do this exercise. It takes three days and it really can change the way you feel. Most people have no idea of what their current experience really is, and so they have no idea about what kind of reality they're programming for themselves. So take the bull by the horns, do this little three-day challenge where you gain awareness of your thoughts, and then do something about it. Start to program a more positive, thought process for yourself. I guarantee you, you will not regret it. You're really gonna enjoy this process. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop any comments below. And just to keep you present and help you build some more muscle, muscular strength in your mind, I highly recommend that you do at least a few guided meditations a week just to get you back into the present moment. And I have those linked up at a playlist that I'll put up on the screen at the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Brandon Epstein from The Bee Mindset. I'll catch you in the next video.